Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Schism Challenge. All right, so we've got some deck edits to do, and holy moly, you guys have made quite a few suggestions. So let's get that right out of the way. So the first thing, I noticed last time, I didn't actually go in order of everyone that commented, so we got a bunch of overlapping when we didn't necessarily need to. So this time, I've gone through the list and made sure that all of the edits that we'll be doing are in order of which they were commented. So hopefully that'll adjust and at least mitigate some of the overlap that we have. But we're starting out with some overlap. First off, we've got Daedalus 8K, who suggested a swap of Anthrosaurus and Beaver Warrior, and Emblem Warrior 11 suggested the same thing. So that is the first addition that we will be doing. So we're right on the Beaver Warrior here. Go ahead and swap that into the main deck. And Anthrosaurus will be going away. Next up, we've got from Daedalus 8K as well, Holograw. And let's see, we're going to be, he put in quite a few additions, but not, not enough uh, removals, but we'll make do. So let's see, Holograw, we're going to be taking out, thank goodness, there's that to the trunk. And then he did suggest adding Witch of the Black Forest, Black Pendant, Sleeping Lion. So what we're going to do is add Witch of the Black Forest. Because going down through my list, I see other people have suggested the Sleeping Lion and Black Pendant as well. So that'll at least try to keep everything even. And next up, Super Ultra Mega. Got plenty of the uh, the usual suspects coming back for, uh, for round two here. So Super Ultra Mega has suggested to add in the Sleeping Lion, but we're going to be taking out that Wicked Mirror that we added in last time. Not going to complain about that. Yeah, this one actually isn't too bad either. It's a it's a decent wall monster, especially for this first campaign. So we'll go ahead and add that into the main deck. And Wicked Mirror is going away. Thank goodness. Let's find that. Should be right at the bottom here. There we go. And next up, new face here, Anomaly Mode. Thank you for the suggestion. We're going to be taking out Trap Hole, putting in the Black Pendant. You gotta love it. All right, so let's go ahead and find that trap hole. That's a, that's a pretty huge hit. We do have two copies, so at least we can at least have the one to protect ourselves, which is good. And then we've got the black pendant going in. So helped out a little bit with Daedalus' suggestions so we can kind of make sure that everyone gets the showcase for what they want to see added to the deck. Uh, going into Android user 3895 asked, actually suggested the same thing. Putting in the Anthrosaurus, adding or uh, taking out the Anthrosaurus, adding in the Beaver Warrior. So we've already got that covered. Thank you for the suggestion, my man. Next up, ECP Super 2010. We're going to be adding Wretched Ghost of the Attic and taking out our mail. Fantastic. All right, so let's go find that Wretched Ghost, the uh, the ugly duckling of Karibos. Fantastic. And we're taking out the our mail. Not that either one is absolutely fantastic, so, you know, I guess I guess it really it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. We are just losing the overall better monster. Next up, we've got Orange Cross 76 said he did want to see that Metal Dragon Fusion card that we pulled last time go into the deck, which is good. Just adding cards to the Fusion deck that we're probably never going to use. Not only the Metal Dragon, but he wanted to add the Wretched Ghost and take out the Spike Seedra. So this is where we've got to do some big brain maneuvers, I suppose. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump down. Ren Suzugamori suggested adding the Black Pendant and taking out the Magic Jammer. So, that's two removals. What am I doing here? All right. All right, I think we've, I think we've got it now. All right, so Orange Crust 76 wanted to put in the Spike Seedra. So we've got that in. Next up, Chris or K1, taking out One-Eyed Shield Dragon, and we're adding Witty Phantom. So let's get to that Witty Phantom real quick in the trunk, and we are taking out the One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Not going to complain about that. We've got an overall better statted monster. Just a matter of finding it. There we are, taking that out. Next up, SS Games 6084. Thank you for the, thank you for the suggestion of taking out the Summon Skull and adding Witch of the Black Forest. So we've already got the Witch in there, but what we're going to do is take out that Summon Skull, and this should help us to even that out. Then Ren Suzugamori wanted to take out Magic Jammer and add the Black Pendant. So let's get down to Magic Jammer. Nope, it's going to be up here somewhere. 
over the rainbow. There it is. So putting that away. And then the black pendant is already in the deck. So now this is where I pretty much get to make my own decision. Because I wasn't thinking originally as far as the Metal Dragon edition that that doesn't actually count for the main deck. So I have to find another card to add in. So let's see. I want to not put in the cards that we've, already, that we've just taken out. So Binding Chain is an option. Crawling Dragon. Drooling Lizard. You know, these are all awful options. Sandstone. You know what? This is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I am going to take my chances with that Crawling Dragon. I think at least for this first campaign it shouldn't be too bad. So let's go ahead. We've spent enough time trying to get this situated. But we've got our new deck. I'm not happy about it, but we've got our new deck. Alright. On to the campaign. So last time we got a win on Taya, and we got a troublesome win over Bakora. He was an absolute pain last time around. So let's hit up the new boys here. We've got Yugi to start things off. Let's see what we can do, and let's see if those additions will do us any favors here. Of course, we're going to go first, see what we can set up with. I know we've still got some wall monsters that we can... Wow, the Wandering Doomed. Fantastic. Gotta love those suggestions. Alright, so Giant Soldier, Wandering Doom, Goki Bore, Black Pendant, Premature Burial, Neil the Magic Swordsman. Still not an overall bad starting hand. Not a whole lot else we can do though, so we'll we'll set the Goki Bore for now. And Yugi should be attacking with his low monsters as he is now. And I think he should be attacking with just about everything. So it, and he doesn't have super strong monsters. I know he's got a couple beat sticks in there, but nothing that we can't necessarily overcome. So, let's still keep it a little bit reserved. I do want to try to save some tribute fodder of weaker monsters, especially if we're going to go into that crawling dragon. I wouldn't want to sacrifice a giant soldier or a Neo the Magic Swordsman specifically for that. That wouldn't be the best, the best option, unless absolutely necessary. So it might be a little bit of a slow one. We've got some we've got some small bodies that we're working with. We're gonna take a little 300 damage. That's that's all right. It's all right. No worries. We're making somewhat quick work of this. And let's see. I don't think we can close it out just yet because I wanna. Let's see. So we've got 1500 that we have to take out with that. Now it's definitely not enough. But I think what we'll go ahead and do premature. We'll just go ahead and bring back our Goki Bore, and at least get us one turn closer to uh, to an easy kill. So th this one should wrap up pretty quick, that's good. I guess I could have used that Black Pendant as well. That's alright. And Fire Yaru and Goki Bore are going to punch in for 2500. That's a Dark Magician stat right there and I didn't even have to tribute for it. Sensational. Alright, we'll pass it back to Yugi. I th he shouldn't have too many others. I don't think he has anything that can get over Neo the Magic Swordsman, but he does have obviously things that can get over these under 1500 attack monsters, which we're starting to load up on. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, this is the problem that we're going to start running into. So, yep, I think Giant Soldier of Stone in attack position of all things is our best option here. We will go ahead and throw on the Black Pendant. And let's see... 13, 13, that's going to bring us to 22. We might be able to close it out right here, if my math is correct, but it's probably not. Let's see. Alright, so Neo's going to go into Celtic Guardian for 800, and yeah, that should be enough. Quick game with Yugi, can't complain. Now what I am nervous about, especially if we're able to stack up a pretty solid field for this style of gameplay, Someone commented on the last video that Joey does in fact have Regeki. That's not a good thing. So we've got to be cautious of that. So Red Eyes Black Dragon Pack, that's what we're going to be doing until we get uh, a brand new pack. Armored Starfish, we've got Succubus Knight, Eldeen, Ganigumo, Rare Fish. I see a few of those probably being added. Alright, second duel of today's video, Joey Wheeler. Let's see what we can do, see if we can close it out just as quickly as we, as we did Yugi. Hopefully. But, and I know that Joey has magic arm shields. I know he's got massive beaters with Goblin Attack Force and Gear Free the Iron Knight. 
not exactly happy to be having to deal with that because that will also get over my wall monsters. But starting with a mystical space typhoon is good. And there's not a whole lot we can do with this stuff either. I guess the sleeping line is going to be our best bet. I definitely don't want to put out that seven colored fish just yet. He will attack with this. This is something that has always has always annoyed me about this game, is if you have Mystical Space Typhoon set, it will always pop up that prompt with everything that happens, even when the only option to pick would be itself. And I have definitely gotten annoyed enough to just pop my own Mystical Space Typhoon with itself, just to get that prompt to stop popping up. But now that I'm a little more level-headed, I know that I just kind of need to bear through it and save it until Joey goes ahead and sets his magic arm shield. Which, who knows, that, that may be never. I don't think I've ever went through a duel where he didn't set it, but if he doesn't, I mean, that'll be fine. So let's see. Not a whole lot coming from him, either. Beaver Warrior, so I know that we now have the Spike Seedra. So we can tribute off that if we can keep something alive, or what we could do instead is go ahead and sack his own monster, depending on what it is. The Tatsumi Giant, yep, we'll go ahead and sack that. I, I would do that if it were my own monster, so I'm fine with that. Not bad. Didn't think I'd ever get that on field, I'll be honest with you. Same with Crawling Dragon, but I can't complain about it being on field. It's a little bit better stat and attack points than I have with everything else in my hand right now. And we're over halfway there. These games are a lot easier compared to, to last episode. It was a nightmare. Alright, now I think the... I don't think that he has any wall monsters. Maybe a Spirit of the Harp. So that would be the only thing we need to worry about. So what I will do... Black Pendant coming in clutch again. Please don't take it out. Alright, so we've got 23 on board, 16, what's the best thing we can put out? I guess it's Witty Phantom, hey, good suggestion. So, Alright, let's see, I probably could have put the Sleeping Lion in tag just to kind of give myself some insurance on this, but that's okay. Let's see. That was close. And is this enough to close it out? 23, it is, hey, not bad, these games are quick. And, I mean, we're under... We're under 15 minutes right now. Let's go ahead and do one more. And just so we can make sure it's quick, I'll do another Taya, because we still need to get two, two wins on her, and this will just give you guys another booster pack to choose from. So that'll be good. Let's see. Second Red Eyes Black Dragon Pack. We still haven't gotten any rare cards from these. Ooh, Skull Red Bird. So we've got Reaper of the Cards. Not a bad... Eh. Not a bad tribute monster, but it certainly could be better. Gravedigger Ghoul is pretty good. Rare Fish, Anthrosaurus, and Skull Red Bird. That is, that's actually really solid as, as far as a mid-level attack monster. So not bad. And let's see what we can do with Taya. And this will be our second one for her, so we won't have to do any more against her. Unless you guys want me to do, like, the extended... Uh, I'm not even sure what to call it, but the extended matches where if you beat everyone in the campaigns, like... 10 or 20 times or something, you get the additional packs. So let me know if you guys would want to see that. Right now, I don't think that's what I'm going to do, but if you guys would want to see that, then, you know, we can we can do that as well. So not a bad start. Some wall monsters. Not I'm definitely not going to be tributing anything for that Spike Seedra this time around, at least not just yet. And Tay is going to attack and everything. Something that I would like to see, because I don't think there's any cards in this game specifically that you can reset your monsters with, other than... Well, no, because not uh, Cyber Jars are special summoning. But I would want to see if the bot would actually re-attack a wall monster if you had the means to reset it while it was already face up on the field. I would want to see what would actually happen with that. I don't... Probably not anything. Maybe the bot is a little bit smarter than that, but... Not by much, you know. Alright, what can we do? I don't really want to just wall up with stuff, even though we're making a nice little punch of damage every time she does that. So we've got both of our tribute monsters here. Did we always have two Spike Seedra? I don't think we did. I thought I added Crawling Dragon. Maybe not. Maybe I screwed something up. 
Alright. I guess we can kind of start punching in stuff, because we've got Bella Destruction, so if she happens to put any... She had Gemini Elf last time. So if she happens to put that out, we can pop that. No, I don't want to do the Mystical Elf. I want to do the Giant Soldier of Stone. Beautiful. Alright, punch through with that. So like I said, we've got the Bell of Destruction set now, so if she does put out that Mystical... Or not Mystical Elf, Gemini Elf. Don't mind me, everything's named the same. But if she does put that out, we can just get rid of it, and then we'll be able to close out on the next turn, which is good. Very good. Let's see, will she do it? Eh, yeah, close, but... I'm still gonna pop it. We can still close out the game here. Uh, could we just go ahead and... There we go. 16, 16. And that's gonna be the end of this one. We're not gonna do another one after that, because I'm sure... If I decide to get greedy, we'll end up here for another 20-minute match with Bakora or something. So, that's going to wrap up this one, and then we'll we'll have another Red-Eyes Black Dragon pack. So you guys will have a little more to choose from for the card pool for what you can add, aside from, you know, what we already have in the trunk and everything. That was good. Another quick match. Three quick matches today. I like when those happen, because that Bakora match last episode was just dreadful. So, another Red-Eyes Black Dragon. Can we get a rare card? We cannot. So we've got Frenzied Panda, Armored Starfish, Skalendril is okay, Reaper of the Cards again, not super happy about that, and another Metal Dragon. So that does it for that. So before we end the episode, let's go through everything that we've got in the pool. So here's the trunk. We've got two Anthrosaurus, an Armail, two Armored Starfish, a Beaver Warrior, Binding Chain, Rover, Drooling Lizard, Eldeen, Firegrass, Frenzied Panda, Guinea Gumo, Grave Digger Ghoul, Hollow Gra, Larvis, Magic Jammer, Metal Dragon, One Eyed Shield Dragon, Rare Fish, Two Reaper of the Cards, A Sandstone, Silver Bone Arrow, Skalengel, Skull Red Bird, please go ahead and add that one, Steel Ogre Grotto number one, Succubus Knight, Summon Skull, The Wandering Doom, Trap Hole, Tripwire Beast, and The Wicked Mirror. Going into the main deck, we've got seven colored fish, always happy to see that one. Aqua Midor, we've got Bean Soldier, Beaver Warrior, Bell of Destruction, came in clutch to the last match. Black Pendant, Change of Heart, Crawling Dragon, Feral Imp, Fiend Kraken, Fire Yaru, Giant Soldier of Stone, Goki Pore, Killer Needle, King of Yami Makai, Komori Dragon, Metal Dragon in the extra deck, Minamushi Warrior, Monster Reborn, Mystical Elf, Two copies of Mystical Space Typhoon, Neo the Magic Swordsman, Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, Regeki, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Skull Stalker, Sleeping Lion, Snake Yashi, Spike Seedra, Swords of Revealing Light, The Wandering Doom, Trap Hole, Tripwire Beast, The Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, Number One, Witch of the Black Forest, thanks for putting that back in, Witty Phantom, and Wretched Ghost of the Attic. Fantastic. So that's going to do it. For today's episode of the Schism Challenge, thank you guys for your suggestions so much. And be sure to suggest more for next week's episode. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you like the video, don't forget to drop a big thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated, as always, guys. And until next time, this has been Purple Pineapple TV Schism Challenge, baby. Signing off.